This is the E Plus or Long Range Nissan Leaf here in Australia. And it has the 62 kilowatt hour battery pack. But after 50,000 kilometers and three years, how healthy is that battery pack? If you're an EV critic and were hoping the battery was going to be dead, you're going to be sadly disappointed. Let's check it out. Welcome to EV for me. A brief history of this vehicle first. It started its life off in Japan three years ago and it was owned by a Japanese family for one year. But way back in 2020, we could not buy the long range Nissan Leaf here in Australia. So we bought this vehicle from a Japanese car auction in Nagoya, Japan in May of that year. We got it shipped over to Australia and we've been driving it around ever since. This EV has just turned three years old and we've traveled over 50,000 kilometers or a little bit over 31,000 miles. We've been driving around town, we've gone on road trips. So let's check the battery out and see how healthy it is. The main drive battery is located underneath the car. That's basically the battery that makes the wheels go round. Not to be confused with the 12 volt battery under the bonnet, which runs lights, radio, dash, power windows, etc. It has the 62 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's how much energy it actually stores, but only 56 kilowatt hours of that battery pack is actually used because it leaves a buffer at the top and bottom to protect that battery pack from undercharge and overcharge. That battery pack weighs approximately 450 kilos or 1,000 pounds in the old money. And that gives this car an indicative driving range of 385 kilometers. But in ideal conditions, that's more like 270 to 340 kilometers in the real world. We analyze the battery pack on the Nissan Leaf with an application called Leaf Spy. And that's actually on the iPhone. It's also available on your Android phone as well. To connect LeafSpy to the car's computer, we use a little wireless dongle that connects into the diagnostics port located under the steering wheel in the Nissan Leaf. This is the LeafSpy information that matters, the battery cells page. On the horizontal scale, we have the number of modules, which is 96. Each module contains three cells. The vertical scale is the module voltage. The state of health of this battery is 92.61%. Far from dead, as our critics would have you believe. So this drive battery has degraded a little bit over 7% in three years, which is pretty good for a drive battery with no active cooling capabilities. So it's only air cooled. More modern day EVs have batteries that have active cooling so the drive battery is cooled with an internal coolant. So how does this affect range? Because the battery has degraded a little bit over 7% over the last three years, we would have lost a range of roughly between 20 and 25 kilometers from having a brand new battery. Just to clear up some misinformation, and this is a really annoying question I always get, the battery in this electric vehicle will never ever have to be replaced. So next year, after four years, it will degrade down to 90%. Um, and in the next five to six years after that, it'll degrade at a much slower rate, down to about 80%. Then the car may be sold on to someone else who may not need to travel that high amount of kilometers. You know, they're just happy to have a vehicle with a range of 250 kilometers. Other information on this page, this EV has had 72 quick charges, which over a long time might cause heat stress and degrade the battery quicker. Also, the EV has had 318 slow charges, which is a little less stressful on the drive battery itself. The number here in the top right is the difference between the lowest and highest module voltage. This, in this case, it is 17 millivolts. So this drive battery is well balanced. 
anything under 30 millivolts is pretty good. Let's say you had a battery difference of 322 millivolts, your drive battery would have big problems. So at the end of the day, the drive battery in this electric vehicle is A-OK. -okay. If you wish to follow our EV adventures, go to our Twitter page, ev for me 2 check that out. As always, leave your comments down below, hit that bell and subscribe when you wanna know when a new vlog is uploaded, and we will see you next time.